What if I told you that I had 50,000 games in the palm of my hand? Fifty thousand games in the palm of my hand. That is correct. The Super Console X Cube emulator from Ken Hank. Super cool console. Saw a couple reviews on it, and I said I need me one of these. And the thing about this one is, this is supposed to have fifty thousand games. Now, judging on this box, if I were to see this at a store or a flea market, I would think immediately this is a, a knockoff NES classic. And I probably wouldn't even think twice of it and just pass on it. But after seeing some reviews, uh, this thing is pretty impressive. And I wanted to tell you guys about it, even though most of you could care less about video games, most of you here for action figures, but this is super awesome. This brings back childhood memories. I grew up on an NES, SNES, Sega Genesis, Sega Master System, N64, PlayStation 1, 2, 3, uh, the handheld consoles. I didn't get Virtual Boy, but there is Virtual Boy in here. There's so many games in here. You think this is a joke. Again, just me seeing it as 50,000 games, immediately I would just uh, pass on this as if it's false advertisement. You know, I've had my fair share of replica consoles and a lot of them are not what they say they are. They'll have repeats and a bunch of repeated games. This does have a couple of repeated games, but there's arcade versions. There's so many different options in this thing, but let's just get it open and see what is in the box. I already opened this, but I'm gonna open it again for you. It's dirty probably because of me. You have a choice of getting the PlayStation controllers or the SNES controllers, and I decided to go with the PlayStation control. And this is just, telling us how to navigate around that. Pretty cool that it has a guide because you're gonna need it. There are some things you're gonna wanna change up as far as aspect ratio and changing the bezel. And you'll see what I'm talking about later on. So really cool to have this guide. Warning, how to download 50 games. No need for that because there is, there's already 50,000 games inside. Uh, I'll probably take a look at that if you want to take a look at that. This game is already pre-installed with 50,000 games. That's the beauty of it. If you just want to plug and play, you have that ability now to play 50,000 games. And I'm going to keep stressing that 50,000 because it's 50,005. You think it's a joke, but I'll show you later on. Uh, another programming paper. The one thing I don't like about it is that it is designed after the S, um, pardon me, it is designed after the NES, and I don't really like that. It looks like a dirty NES, a used NES. However, just over here really quick. Super Console X Cube, there's a Super Console X and a Super Console X Pro, a Super Console X King. There's so many versions of this, uh, but this one was the one I, I saw a couple reviews on, and for the price, it seemed pretty impressive. So before I went any more higher with the Super Console X King and, and above, I wanted to make sure that this functioned correctly and it played the games as advertised. And so you can open this up immediately. There are four USB ports. These are for the four controllers. There's a lot of arcade games that have four, four players. Same with Nintendo 64 and, and a bunch of other games. Simple HDMI, LAN cable. This does have Wi-Fi. It's also a small PC. It's an Android, so you can browse the web. Uh, I'm not gonna do any of that for you. This is not what I bought it for. I bought it for specifically games. An a, a DC outlet, an AV jack that you probably won't need if you have HDMI, and a SIM card that has the 50,000 games preloaded. They say you should take it out and back it up in case something happens to it, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not gonna customize it or anything. I should customize the box. It would be cool. Standard HDMI cable that comes with the Super Console X and a DC plug. Then it comes with a PlayStation control. And well, it's a replica PlayStation control. It's very light. It doesn't have any rumble features, but these analogs feel pretty good. These click buttons, uh, they're, not the, they're not the best. 
you see the B is already worn out. I kind of been rubbing it. It's kind of the most common button you use. Uh, you notice though, if it's PlayStation, it would be triangle, X, square, circle, but that's not the format. Um, good control though, it does function well. A lot of games do play as they're supposed to. Here, this is battery powered and wireless. So you just put in two AAA batteries, plug this in directly to the front of your Super Console X. I almost called it an NES. Plug it in front of that and immediately your control is connected once you put in the batteries, of course. I wish this could close somehow. I don't like this uh, design part of it. So but it does look kind of cool, I guess. And I should compare it to the NES. Matter of fact, let me do that right now. The NES Classic Edition, super, super nostalgic. Uh, the NES was my first console I had. Didn't really grow up with a father. My father visited me when I was eight years old and I haven't seen him since I was maybe one, right? So uh, when I was eight, he came by with a soup, I mean, with a Nintendo, uh, with a power pad and Duck Hunt and Mario. And I fell in love with the Nintendo ever since. Mario was like one of my favorite games and probably still is. So to get this in a classic edition was a no brainer for me. I don't keep it there, I keep it here. This is where I keep my NES classic, but I just wanna show you the classic design in comparison to the NES cons. Sorry, to the Super Console X Cube. Both consoles look very similar. Again, you can see the black stripe on the left, where here it's on the opposite side. This doesn't open, but on the original it does open. Here this opens for the USB controllers. And you can see how I said it looks dingy in comparison to the new gray. This looks like a used NES versus this nice and clean NES. But you don't care about the box. I didn't, I didn't really care about the box when I bought it. It wasn't about what it looked like. It was about if it could perform as described. And so I'm gonna show you really quick what it's like. Once it's all connected, all you gotta do is put your batteries into your control. Just don't drop it like I did. Then you want to turn on your console. Everything is connected. Put my USB wireless adapter in there. I'm going to power it on for you guys. I'll also record from the capture card so you can see in full detail. Once you turn on the switch, there's a little bottom switch, power on, control goes on. A little menu you'll get. You can change the settings so you don't have to see that boot up menu, but I kind of like it. It feels good, music's good. And once this shows up, it's, it's gonna load up all the games. And just give it a couple seconds. Probably take like 10 seconds. These are all the consoles included. And here we have it, Nintendo, Super Nintendo actually. 1200 games, Super Graphics, Virtual Boy, Wonder Swan, Color, Sharp, Sinclair, all games, which is 50,005 games, no joke. Tons of games, SNES, arcade, but I'll show you afterwards. Here's a list of favorites. Some of them are already preloaded, but uh, a couple of them I added in myself. And I'll show you when I added in. Street Fighter the movie. It's not my favorite, but the fact that they had it here, knowing that Street Fighter the movie was a console game. Michael Jackson, Moonwalker. Mortal Kombat, these are NES classics. I forgot what I was looking for already. Here it is. There's two versions of Street Fighter the movie. 
the arcade version and the main version main version but I like to play the arcade they're both the same just wanted to show you the time it takes to boot a game it's really short boom here we are and because it's arcade you want to insert coins in order to insert coins you'll just hit the select key Thirty lives. I'm gonna play Ryu. I'm gonna uh, capture some video in the capture card so you can see it a lot better than what you're looking at now. What's up, baby? You ain't messing with Guile. Van Dam, Jean Claude. Ooh, you potty slamming? Hold that, lady. Take that. To, to exit some games, all you got to do is hit, I think most games, select and start at the same time, and you'll exit out of the game. But you can see it functions really good. D-pad feels okay. Sorry, I'll get back to my favorites. Mario 64. Let me show you uh, from the capture card. Super Nintendo, 1200 games, Super Graphics, Field Trucks, Virtual Boy, Wonder Swan, Color, Sharp 68000, Sinclair Spectrum, all games, which is 50,005 games in total. You got favorites, you can put all your favorites in here if you want, which I should actually, I should, I'm going to do that later on when I start digging through all these catalogs, I'm going to highlight some of my favorites apparently they already have their own favorites Amiga Commodore 1200 Amstrad CPC Arcade this is dope for sure 2500 games not that you're gonna need them all but the fact that you have them is amazing Atari 2600 5200 7800 800 Lynx Atari ST a Thomas Wave Commodore Dreamcast, not too many Dreamcast games, but you do have a couple Dreamcast games, and that's that's dope enough. Uh, I don't know what this is. Arcade, 277 games, pretty cool. I'm gonna look in this. I haven't looked in this yet. Family Computer Disk System, this is the Famicom. Game and Watch, Game Gear, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Sega Genesis. In television, MAME, this is also super, super dope. Sega Master Systems, another Sega Genesis. I don't know the difference between this one. This one has 1,100 games, and then this one has 890 games. So I don't know if they're connected and they have the same amount. This one just has more. We'll have to dig through that later on. Uh, MSX, Nintendo 64, 256 games. Amazing. Naomi, 
Nintendo DS, Neo Geo CD, Neo Geo System, uh, NES, NES Hacks. Wow, how many NES games? 1500, 1994. Neo Geo Pocket, Neo Geo Color, Odyssey 2. Beats of Rage, which is inspired from games like Beats, like Streets of Rage. So there's only five games in there though. Turbo Graphics, Turbo Graphics CD, Ports, PSP. Super dope to have PSP games on this. PlayStation, not that many titles, but pretty cool. 54 games. Sega 32X, Sega CD, I believe. Um. SG-1000, Sega-1000. I don't remember this one. I've never seen this before. And then back to Super Nintendo. So these things all work. And I'm going to start off with the earliest NES. Of course, you guys know emulating NES games aren't too difficult. But if you have the NES Classic, you might say, why do I want this? Well, the NES Classic comes preloaded with 30 games. <clears throat> and if you even hack it, you might have 200, 300 games. And that's cool enough, too. I have an NES. But to have... 1500 NES games. I mean, you don't need anything, right? You have everything right here. A Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, I'm going to try to find all the Marvel games and some of the fighting games. That's my goal here. And maybe Ninja Turtles. Let's go look for Ninja Turtles. I passed it. Kung Fu. That's a, that's a classic. I'm going to try to find Ninja Turtles. Power Rangers was a good game, too. Where is it? They don't have Power Rangers. Oh, that's for NES. That's NES. I'm sorry. So many games. This thing should make a click sound. It usually makes a click sound going down. I don't know why it's not now. Mike Tyson's punch out. Let's do that. Let's just do that. Classic game. If you never played this game, you missed out. Fire playing with Black, uh, playing with Lil Mac, beating on Glass Joe and Mr. Sandman. I might even know the code to this. I sent it to my brother the other day. Oh, I don't know the code. I probably do, but I don't want to fight Mike Tyson. He's gonna kick my butt if I try. come here and change the latency uh, we'll reduce this we'll put it up to two we might get a little quality drop but definitely gonna feel on point so dodging is cool it's really easy the buttons feel like when I press them There it is. There it is. Woo! I still got it. Alright, we got this game. You guys know it works. To quit, all I gotta do is press. And it brings me back to where I left off. I'm telling you, games that you've never even played before, you can come and try. Games you remember. Games you, you might have rented and brought back and never had a chance to beat as a kid. Games you borrow from a family member. Ghostbusters, Ninja Gaiden, oh, I gotta try Ninja Gaiden, come on, you know what though, you might have seen enough of the Nintendo catalog, right, Nintendo hacks, I don't know if I really want to see any hacks, this is not what I'm in it for, but I will check that out later, Neo Geo, I want to see PSP, let's see if anything in it, P 
PSP catalog works. Angry Birds, Castlevania, Dragon Ball. Let's try Dragon Ball. I'm going to try to get a few minutes of every game. Not every game, because that would be impossible, but a few minutes of the, the games that I want to try. And then just keep moving on. Just to see if everything functions and works, because this was the Super Console X Cube. And there are better models out there that handle games better than this does. But for the price, you can't you can't beat this. I might even I'm thinking about upgrading. Controls feel good. I'm gonna load games where my son plays. Let's just go to arcade and kick some butt. Let's do this. Wow. I'm not gonna lie, it feels great. I don't got any latency at all. Works, buttons function good, no lag at all. And I think it works good. Let me get out of here. Another game here is Mega Metal Slug. Another game here is Mega Metal Slug. We gotta do Metal Slug. There's a lot of settings on this too, you can change. The dis the uh, the display the way it's set like when it first turns on I'll show you afterwards there's so much you can do I'm, mainly I'm only here to focus on gameplay and then maybe we'll make another video on functionality and things you can do and change up ratio where's the audio I'm missing the audio. Hmm, that's weird. That's strange. Well, the audio works. I don't know why it didn't work. I gotta try that again. That's so strange. Metal Slug there Double X. Yeah, so I had a little issue with the audio. Marco. Mission one. Start. seen it um, so PSP is functioning pretty good PlayStation I guess we'll jump into PlayStation I'm not really a, I was never a PlayStation fan and I'm not gonna lie I'm mad they don't have Abe's Odyssey I want to see Abe's Odyssey so spider-man I've never played spider-man for PlayStation 1 I know a lot of you have 
Let's see if this even works. I'm not too, uh, I'm not, I don't have too much faith in the PlayStation games. Kid mode. Technology is the light that will cut through the darkness. When humanity conforms to a single truth, a truth based in technological I progress, once I would like to see that, but I just want to play the game. Everything's kind of doing good right now. Welcome, true believers and newcomers alike. Spider Man co creator Stan Lee here. Once again, we find our hero Peter Parker better known around the world as the amazing Spider-Man in a heap of trouble. Wow. But this is just the beginning, Spidey fans. Wow, so get this, ready for a true superhero I mean, action thriller. To Packed to the brim with thrills and chills, twists and turns. More supervillains than you can shake a web at. And of course, non-stop web-slinging, we wall crawling was action. We thought this was impressive. And I think it might still be. Let me, let me check it out. Hey, Spider. Hey, what's up, Felicia? Hey, Black Cat. What's going on? I know there's been some trouble, but the bank's being robbed, and they've got hostages. Use your spidey compass. It feels good. Pushing X to jump feels good. Punching feels good. That feels good. R1 with the swinging. All right, this is pretty cool, dog. All right, let's see what happens. Gotta get to that bank. Died already. Come on, Spidey. Don't let me down. Don't look like a newbie out here. I need to use my Spidey compass to find the bank. Spider sense tingling. <laughs> well, it works. And that's that's good. Maybe I have a go at it. Street Fighter. Twisted Metal. X-Men, let me do this. Let's give this a go. Reading memory card. Built-in memory card. I'm always gonna pick a Wolverine. He's probably my favorite X-Men as a kid growing up. Wolverine. And then Cyclops was my next. I think it's just his unique design with the laser in his eye and he's blind, so I like Scott Summers. But by far Wolverine was always my favorite. And look, they put them both together. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, don't do that, bro. Don't do that. Oh, you don't want none of me, son? Back up, Scott. By the way, Gene is mine. Huh? Huh? You can't even see Gene, bro. I don't even appreciate how she looks. Ooh, yeah? Yeah. Huh? Huh? All right. Scott. I'm gonna beat you up. I'm gonna take it out of your brother. Oh! Leave him alone, huh? Huh? You don't like that comment? Your brother's a wimp anyway. All he does is get up. Oh. I hate that combo all day. I've never played this game. But it plays good. Everything functions. Like, again, no latency. Every button is super active. Responds well. Oh, take that, Scotty. Amateur. That's right. You go, boy. You go, bro. So I think I might as well just go look for all the the uh, Marvel games and see what I can find. I've never been a Sega fan like that. Sega 32X. But 
And if I want to play Mortal Kombat, I won't play on this. I'll play, they have the arcade version, so I'll do that. Sega CD, Super Nintendo, Street Fighter 2. Got to do it, man. Got to do it. Even though there are better versions of Street Fighter 2 on this console, there's arcade versions and main versions, and there's alpha. And I'll, I'd show you. I just forgot how to get there. Give me that OG color. Ooh, Zangief. Bust your ass, boy. Oh, are you disrespecting me? Feels good. I'm just, uh, I gotta get used to it. I haven't played more. Oh, he's beating my ass. He's beating my ass. I need to check, bro. Oh, no problem. Oh, come on, son. Look at that energy. We both right there. You can't tell me I didn't beat him up. I mean, you know I got to beat him up, right? I can't just let him beat me up like that. No mercy. Oh, God. Why'd you go the other way, Ryu? He does it again. This is me. I keep jumping back with the thumbstick. There we go. I was supposed to hit him with this. Oh, you can! There you go. Take that, boy. I love how fast it loads out. It's pretty, pretty instantly. Mario Kart, you know Mario Kart. Zombies ate my neighbors. This game is super classic. I love the music too. Our real monsters. Any more Avengers or Captain America or anything? Well, I have most of these honestly on my SNES Classic. Like all the games I want to play here, so I don't think I'm gonna to play too many. But if there's one, I can just pop in real quick. Captain. America and the Avengers. Yeah, I have that already on my SNES. Clay Fighters. I tried this. This works. If I'm going to play Samurai Showdown, I'm going to play the arcade versions and I'll show. Great, but it was it was a classic just to, to see Shaq have a fighting game. More Spider-Man's, Spider-Man games, Maximum Carnage. That game sucked. I hated this game. This game was good, and this game was good. Spider-Man the X-Men was definitely good, actually. I remember this. That's classic. The Nintendo Switch. That game is pretty much everywhere now. Titles. Tennis, I remember. It's the only game I ever played, honestly, for virtual. You can play these games. Mario Tennis, I remember. It's the only game I ever played, honestly, for Virtual Boy. I wanted to do Mario Clash, but I never had a chance. But I don't think they have that. I thought there was a Wario game, too. Let's go to arcades. What's in my favorites? Because this, is this isn't my list. I'm not, I'm not gonna look at that right now. Arcade. See, they have much better versions of Street Fighter here. There's so many games. I played the Michael Jackson game in this SN, SNK vs. Capcom. Find Street Fighter really quick. All right, 
so there's so many street fighters. Some of them say bootleg, but I show you they they are pretty much street fighter. They have Street Fighter Rainbow Edition. Look at if you don't know what the Street Fighter Rainbow Edition is. Do a spinning kick and throw a Dukin right out of it. But that's cool. It works because I did I played it yesterday. So many Street Fighters, more Rainbow Editions. But I want you to see, see I have all these on the Switch too, a lot of them, not all of them, like 10 to 12 of them. Um, but this, this was only on arcades, couldn't play this on a console. Not that I remember, I don't ever, I don't ever recall this ever being on a console. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments, seen it in arcade. Usually at the flea market. Uh, uh, here's another thing. Akuma was never a character in the movie. And I don't remember Blade. Let's do Ryu because I you know Ryu's the man. Ryu versus Sega! Round one. Fight! The funny thing is that all the all the buttons are just like Street Fighter. It's just more realistic, like that more combat style. No! No! Vega! I didn't know! No way, Vega. Vega actually looks like his character. So I'm, I, I, didn't, I didn't mind Vega. I didn't like Ryu. I didn't like a lot of characters. Honestly. This guy was too old, too skinny. Alright, let me get my butt kicked because I keep trying to do it. Wow. Oh, we're still alive! That's pretty cool, man. You got Street Fighter. And then there are other Street Fighters, you know that. Marvel vs. Capcom. I think they have that here too. Double Dragon. Let me know if there's a game you want me to play or find for you. And I will find it. Marvel vs. Street Fighter. I'm going to try this actually. So many games, so little time. If that wasn't true, I don't know what is. Seriously, you'll spend you'll spend days here just going through stuff and putting it in your favorites list. Are you ready to the leaders? Some coins in. And it's 50 cents, too, two credits. Ryu and Spider-Man. That's all I gotta pick. I'm hearing more for Ryu, though. What's up, Black Hawk? Fighting permanently. Take that black card. All right, so I'm, I'm just playing like Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and it's pretty much the same, just more of an early, earlier game, so it's not as advanced. I 
I like the jump, the high jump though. You missed me, buddy. I didn't even need to bring Spidey out. That game works also. So many games work. I don't want to spend your whole time. But some of you are actually here to see what this can do. Metal Slug, the arcade version. All Metal Slugs. See, I never played the arcade version. I only played the Sega version. And that game wasn't too cool. But I... Sounds not the greatest on that intro, anyway. But I played the Sega version, and the Sega version wasn't so cool. But after playing this, I played the Sega version yesterday, and uh, the Sega Genesis. This is the arcade, and. Uh, and uh, they are pretty similar. Boy Joe Pesci. That's a special. He got his hand power on this one. On the Sega Genesis, he has a foot kick with a sprinkle. It's a long way down, bro. They should have Mortal Kombat games on here, actually. Yes, they do. If you want to play anything like this, you want to do it in the arcade. Credits in. Now, as, as popular as this game was, it was never really my kind of game. Street Fighter was it, and Mortal Kombat was it, and then Dead or Alive. Oh, this feels good. You know if you spot any, like, frame drops. I'm not sure it's but it feels good. It feels good. It feels good. King of Fighters. I'm telling you, all these fighting games function. that then it would pop up a lot easier they also have Mortal Kombat trilogy on the Nintendo 64 emulators so you can go there and play that which has Baraka and a couple other characters oh, I'm sorry I'm just getting tired here error detected that was weird Raiden wins flawless victory Credits in. You hear Ed Boon saying, whoopsie. So the only guy that I should play with is Sub Zero and Luke Kang. Those are my two. And Shang Tsung also is my favorite. The audio sounds a little poppy. Maybe latency will work here. Woo, that may be even worse. All right, so that ain't gonna work. That 
feels better, but you're getting so many frame drops. Alright, so this, wasn't, this one ain't gonna work. I think the other Mortal Kombat's work, though. Now you make me want to check. See if this performs better than Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Looks not good. This doesn't look as good as the other one. Plays a lot better though. Good as the last game, does it? That's terrible. But, but Mortal Kombat 3 is on so many consoles. You know, uh, let's say this for example. Let's let's move out of this real quick. Let's go to Mame. Mame also has some some good arcade games, and I think Mortal Kombat is one of them. Golden Axe. All right, let's try this one. This looks good. Audio's a little low. I noticed that all the buttons are different for different consoles, so you got to get used to what the buttons are. You can change them in the settings. Game here. If you guys want to see more, let me know. Nintendo 64. This does work too. Mario 64. If you want to play that, you can. You can play it on Switch. If you don't have a Switch, you can get this for cheaper. But a ton of games. I'm, I'm not going to hold you up two more any longer, actually. I keep saying the wrong words. But I'm not going to hold you up any longer. Tons and tons and tons of games here. GoldenEye I want to try, but I know GoldenEye is not going to function too well on this. I'm going to leave that one out. Let's do Trilogy. Only because I've been doing Mortal Kombat all day. I tell people Baraka's in Mortal Kombat 3 and they say no, but I always meant Trilogy because this is a 3 to me almost. I have to unlock Unmassive Zero. Jade. These controls are more familiar. Three dollars. I bought it off Ali, Ali for seventy-three dollars. I will say this thing is definitely worth the money for seventy-three dollars. You can't go wrong with it. There are expensive. There are better versions and are a little bit more expensive. And uh, you know, I only wanted to get this one to play it safe to make sure it worked. And now I know that it does work and plays the majority of the games. I'm gonna have to get the more expensive version. The more expensive version is is better 
because it will handle the games that this console is just not able to handle. So, guys, I appreciate the love. See you soon.